Welcome to the channel everybody and thank you so much for joining me today. We are playing RimWorld and this is episode number 38 of our Mechanitor playthrough. Let's do it full speed ahead. Now we've got a couple of prisoners here, a couple more of the pig people and I gotta tell you I'm really falling in love with the uh, the pig kin. They're, uh, they're pretty nice genotype and these guys are both brawlers so I'm really excited about that we got the man and they have both have double passions for it so this guy's brawler ugly and a great memory and he's actually the second best pawn this guy right here is the better of the two he's a little bit less but he's a bloodlust brawler with chemical interest this guy's gonna be a boost in combat look at him too you can tell just by the look on his face yeah this guy don't mess around so uh, I'm pretty excited let's check him out we've got okay he's He's already converted. Uh, this one's almost converted. Saku, finish that job, sir. Finish that. Um, so we can, let's see, make sure. Let's double check. Yep, he's set to recruit. This one's obviously not. Yeah, there we go. Now we're set to recruit. Perfect. We are losing thrombo meat. Well, we're losing all kinds of meat here. We uh, we popped a uh, psychic animal pulser last episode. Ended up with like the entire map right here laying down. So if we lose some meat, it's not the end of the world. We are just so stuffed full. You know, it's okay. It's happening. I was trying to hope to uh, get this rebuilt so I could start uh, shoving the meat into there. But uh, so far, they're still preoccupied with the traps, and that's fine with me. I'm totally okay if they want to work on the traps first. We can uh, we can let some of the meat go bad. I know it's annoying, but yeah, it'll stop after a while. Anyway, um, yep, we're almost fully recovered from our last fight. This, he's Larson is fixing the last of the uh, guys. I do have my smithing set to number one. That is number one, so he will do that. Um, we still haven't. Let's see, what kind of chips do we have? I'm still decided, yeah, okay, I've got a high subcore. I'm still deciding, I'm still going with the atomizer, with the nano structuring chip. Yeah, that's going to be, oh, hopefully they'll get to building that soon, but it's open. We should be able to do it. We've got the resources for it, so we'll get to that um, soon, I'm sure. Uh, Boo is working on some M16s here, some assault rifles. Has she got one already built? I hope that's not one she just done. I want her to pop out some legendary or at the very least masterwork because she is up to about ba, 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 19 now. So she should be putting out some serious guns. That was my intention. I, if she's put, putting out good level, then that's a little bit disappointing. We'll see. Let's watch closely. I forgot how many I set initially, so I can't remember if that's just something we scavenged or not. But we'll see. We'll see. Mm. Oh, masterwork? Perfect. Just what we wanted. So we've got a couple of pawns who are getting high enough in their shooting skill that we can probably switch them over from SMGs to assault rifles and or whatever this is. I always forget the name. Charge rifle. Uh, we're good. Yeah, actually, Boo. I want Boo to grab this masterwork she just built. There we go. So we've got, what, one more on the way? Yeah, that's fine. We'll probably give that to Dietrich. He's uh what is he, a 13? Yeah. He'll be good. He'll be good. He's also uh, one of our few furries. Furry's another xenotype I like. Actually, to be honest, I haven't found one of these I don't like. The high mate is awesome. Even though he is, you know, uh nonviolent, he's really an incredible pawn. And now obviously that's due to just his combination of skills and stuff, but it's I'm sure it's not hard to find the high mate that uh with a good medical, you know, who's also a good cook. <laughs> uh, but I just like the way that they bond. It has presented a couple of problems. Like, <clears throat> I've learned not to send one of them off on a caravan without the other. But Boo, who is Saku's mate, is if she goes into the pod here, they get like the psychic disconnection debuff, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it's just how it is. Putting people into these pods, these bio sculptors, man, it really does. Like, it, I'm surprised that you doesn't like actually remove the portrait up here, because <laughs> they are basically cut off. I mean, you can discharge them obviously at, in a crisis, but still, man, they're just like gone. Anyway, so what else is going on? We've got a whole bunch of these uh, nodes here. Oh, archigenetics is done. Perfect. Let's see here. You know what I was thinking about was the long blades. Since we've got uh, a couple of melee people working on, uh, we're going to need to be able to make them some plasteel long swords 
for sure. So we'll do that. And with Boo at this level of crafting, oh, those are going to be some beautiful swords. If we get ourselves a couple of legendary plasteel swords, oh, it's, it's over. The game is over. We can just, we can stop right there. We don't need to play anymore. It's done. Oh, no, you know what? Uh, one of my commenters, wonderful commenters and viewers, recommended that I zone up something special just for coal. And it's a very smart move because apparently there's some kind of mechanic where with children raiders certain raiders will not always go for the kids right away they'll they'll prioritize like adult targets as long as cole's not actively shooting at them so what we do is we wait till combat's engaged and i'm gonna put a zone gotta create it first let's add a new area let's rename it and i'm gonna call it cole's closet and we're going to zone this little spot where do we want where is it zoning let's expand cole's closet to be right here so now in case of a crisis what's going to happen is cole will we're going to set him you know obviously he's the only one we'll put him right there because he doesn't have a weapon so one another thing i should probably do is assign actually a lethal right here let's put the shotgun yeah, we'll, we'll give Cole some shotgun. So in other words, what's going to happen is once we get into a battle, we'll put Cole in here. If it's not mechanoids, of course, if it's like Neanderthals or just a regular tribal raid or whatever, and they get through, we'll wait for them to be engaged. And then we can have him jump out with his shotgun because he's going to be within distance from here to here. And he can just unload. And it's likely, theoretically, hopefully, they will just kind of ignore him because they'll be engaged and stuff. And you know, worst case, if they don't ignore him, we could just close the door here, you know, make sure he doesn't, he can pop back in and out. At some point I do need to go through here and replace a lot of my doors with uh, sturdier doors, but uh, yeah, for now we're good. Actually for now I probably, okay, I do have some steel auto doors here and here. I should probably make these the uranium, but we don't have a lot of uranium. That's another tip, suggestion from somebody actually that's from the discord so if you guys anybody's interested in joining the discord check the description down below okay so we were talking about the mech nodes they do take up a lot of space 36 of them right there <clears throat> you know i think that the thing is with my animals most of them are kind of dependent on this kibble anyway so i could probably cannibalize some of this territory in here to build more if we need I mean, I've still got space for a couple more rows, but I mean, this is a stockpile zone too. I do need some stockpile zone, you know, so we'll see. We'll see how things go. We can always squeeze stuff in these little, these little things underground too. It's not like they have to be outside. So I could make a nice big area in here for them. A couple of 15 by 15 rooms. Yeah, maybe I should do that too, actually. Okay, well, we've got a raid here, and it is two groups of impids. It says they will prepare for a while, but they are approaching from multiple angles. So we've got one up here and one up here. So I've definitely got uh, Larson and Dungus here. Yep, about to drink their go juices. And let's go down here to the good old mortars. Wonderful. All right, so we're going to pummel these guys a little bit. And we have no other real backups. We don't have any psychic uh, animal pulsers or anything fancy like that. So we just got to hope for some decent mortar shots. Let's see. Click, click, click. I'm not sure what they're... I think they don't have a set fo focus target, so we should be okay. Wait, where's he shooting? Uh, he does have a set focus. A stop. Okay, good, good. I don't think he does. All right, we're good. I just want to make sure they're not shooting at empty patches of ground where enemies used to be at one time in the distant past. Okay, he's shooting down south. Let's see. Come on, Dungus. Let's do it, bro. Oh, come on. Oh, got one. Okay, one is better than zero. Come on, Larson. You got a top one, bro. Can you do it? Can you do it? I have set the animals and all the mechs and everything to the safe zone, so we're good. Of course, Cole, we're, we're going to get an opportunity to check Cole's little closet situation. Come on. Oh, Dungus is one up on you right now, Larson. Uh, yeah, because this is an entirely melee group here. All melee there and all melee there. So we might actually see a few of them break through. I don't have an exact count on how many traps I have, but of course, you know, those wooden traps don't necessarily kill one for one. 
In fact, some of the tougher dudes will probably take out three or four traps. Oh, Dungus is just murdering. Larson, bro, I thought you were the smart one of the group, man. What's up? Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, 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 oh. Night. Well, oh, I mean, he hit three, but he didn't kill anybody. I guess that's okay. It's kind of surprising right there. Direct hit with a mortar and three people are just like, that's it. Half health. No big deal. Shake it off. Keep walking around. Oh, well. Come on. <clears throat> oh, Dungus actually killed another one. He did. That's him too. He just killed another one. It looked like it was a bad shot, but no. He's he's murdering. All right. We'll finish this up. What? Da, da, da. Oh, advanced components are complete. Whoa, we've got 10 of those bad boys. Uh, last episode, I said we're going to be using those for bionic legs, and I'm sticking with that. Most people have... Like at least one bionic leg. Oh, Dietrich's got two. But yeah, I'd like to upgrade everybody to two bionic legs at least. Oh, look at this. Cole needs a leg. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So uh, we're still waiting on the raiders. As soon as they, uh, they do their little attack, we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Everybody is uh, lined up just about. Didn't get all the traps completed, but that's no big deal. These guys are a pushover. We do have the first three rows here are granite traps, so any of these that they hit are going to be pretty lethal. Oh, yep, and in case I didn't mention, these are impids, and if you couldn't tell. So they get through to us. They are going to be quite nasty to fight, but here comes the second group. I'm actually thinking they probably won't reach us. Oh, this guy might. Yep, there they go. First group's like, no, we, we're done. This trap funnel is too much, too much for them. That's okay. All right, let's speed it up. I mean, even the um, Apocriton couldn't get through our trap funnel, so I don't think a, a meager little impid raid is going to present much of a challenge. Now, what this does look like to me is a whole bunch of fodder for our rip scanner. What do we got? One, two, 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 two. That's it? Two? All right, all right. Oh, get back to work. Get back to work, machines. All right, Saku, please come grab that guy. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Once again, our trap funnel, uh, the trap funnel is undefeated. So, yeah. Okay, well, not bad here, not bad. We've got one, two, three, four prisoners. And some of them are unwaveringly loyal. So I will be throwing those guys into the rip scanner, most likely. Actually, I don't know. Can we get... Relation gain here. I don't I guess we can't what faction are these guys from the uh, oh, that's their ideology hold on the uh, Factions I don't know if they're all some of them are like Yeah, totally hostile. Yeah, these guys are totally hostile. All right rip scanner. It is I, You know cuz we do have one impid moros here, uh, but they all have that um, Well, I thought they did I thought they had the uh, pessimist trait. This guy doesn't, though. That's crazy. I thought that was a uh, impid, no pessimist. Morris has it. No, 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 no. What am I, crazy? What am I thinking of that has the uh, pessimist trait? What? <laughs> Not sure. Oh, you know what? It might have been updated. <gasps> Did they update that and change it? Oh, wow. Now I'm totally baffled. Okay, well, we'll just look here. Actually, body modder. Nah, we don't want that pawn. Let's see, Mor is that his name, Moron? <laughs> Moron's Pyromaniac Sickly. No, thank you. Dan. Nah. And da-da-da. Too smart care. You actually got some good skills there right up top. Mm, look at that mining. Yeah, we need a miner. I fail. Ooh, this one hasn't been treated yet. And then she's like the best one. Where's Saku? Consuming nutrient paste, Saku. You're letting your people die. Oh, okay. It's reserved by Artur. Wait, you're going to feed him? What are you, ridiculous? All right, let's get Saku in here. Yeah, that's the one that we would want out of any. So if she's not unwaveringly loyal. Let me look at her again. Yeah, 
I kind of like this pawn actually with this mining construction plus the combat ability. All right, let's uh, go for and all she has is two smart, so that's not bad. Let's do a little bit of conversion on her. Even if something comes up and we decide to change our mind and sell her or something, it's not the end of the world. Okay, moron. You're going in the rip scanner there, buddy. All right. Oh, it is turned on, so let's get it let's get it ready. Because we don't need to wait for them to get healed up or anything. We can go ahead and just rip scan the heck out of them. In fact, no more food, guys. No more food for these people. Welcome to the party, Mr. Strange. You have a perfect name. Very fitting for this colony, buddy. It is strange, and so are you. All right, let's take a quick look at this guy again. Oh, yes, he's our chemical interest bloodlust brawler. So this guy's going to be nasty. I've got uh, I've got his weapon already queued up here. We got the research done. I don't know what Boo is doing. Oh, Boo might actually have fabrication set a little bit higher than smithing no smithing should be worked on first now well i'll give her time she's uh oh she's making explosives that's what she's doing she's replacing the ones we we used on uh you know on their friends but uh yeah we've got one recruit now which is good because we're clearing out this prison i've already got dan set up inside the uh, rip scanner you can barely see him he's got his mask on and stuff there he is hi dan say goodbye to dan Oh no, guys, Moron here is really, really sick. He's got a major infection. I don't know if he's going to pull through. What do we do with him? How do we cure this person of his infection? Oh, I think I might have an idea. It just came to me. Well, let's put him in the rip scanner. How about that? Okay, we'll set that up. Come on, guys, let's do it. Also, I'd like to get Lockie recruited sometime soon before I accidentally put him in the rip scanner too. Uh, come on. Okay, it's reserved by lifter. I love it when the robots, the mechs, come and actually put humans into the rip scanner. For some reason, there's just something about that idea. Yeah, sacrificing humans and mechs are doing all the work to create more mechs, essentially. All right, yeah, I think I'm going to gear up and spawn a few more of these bad boys. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I haven't decided just yet, but we'll probably get some new stuff that I haven't got, like the Tesseron or maybe the Legionnaire. But um, I'm going to spawn a few of these bad boys, and then I think we're going to summon the Apocriton again. I want to I wanna get a few more of his little uh, uh, microchip things so we can build this. Nano structuring chips. Yeah, we need a few more of those because we're gonna need a bunch of these things. And I haven't forgotten that my stockpile or my yeah, my stockpile's full, so ugh, I'm gonna have to set up a caravan, sadly. Don't really want to, but maybe we can make this our final trip here. Cause as far as I understand it, with the newest uh, patch, the integration patch, I think they might have buffed the or nerfed this out of existence, like our little ability to drop. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. It might be worth trying it one more time. We'll see. We'll see. We are super close to the Empire, but we've we've got managed to get our faction influence up a little bit with them last time because I, I dropped off a whole bunch of our clothing that we've been making. So let me send one more caravan. If it pisses them off, we'll, we won't do it again, and uh, I'll just send them some more legendary hats or something. <laughs> Well, we just dropped off uh, about 200 or so tox packs here at our little faction base, Penwell, and no repercussions yet. Uh, we're still at the same neutral level, 18 here, with uh, the neighboring uh, Empire representatives. So yeah, I'm not sure, but um, that was a, su a successful caravan so far. We'll see how things shape up. Take a look at this nice little quest we got. 64 manhunting Labrador Retrievers, sure. Uh, we'll take that for an archive capsule, recon armor good, and some plasteel. Absolutely. I was thinking about this one here with the samurai helmet, the uranium, and the orbital power beam targeter. This is a tough choice, to be honest, right here. What would be the best? I'd love to get some uranium, but to be honest, we have some of these. We have some uranium already right here. This is uranium, so we could easily get more. Plasteel, we haven't found a single vein of plasteel yet. So while we're doing okay now, it's not going to last, trust me. So I'm thinking I'll probably go with the other one. Even though it's a small amount of plasteel, the other two items are pretty nice here. The recon armor, for sure. I'll probably put that back on Larson. 
I got him the cape so that it would, you know, he'd stop asking for uh, elite expectations or his, uh, you know, his royal apparel or whatever. But I think we'll give him the armor again. All right, let's do it. We've got everything locked down. Everybody's in the safe zone. The door is closed, so these dogs shouldn't be a bother. We'll just uh, wait for them to disappear on their own or until, you know, something comes along and takes them out for us. Check this out, guys. We have officially moved up to, I don't know, uh, industrial glitter world tech probably here. We've got our waste pack atomizer happening. Heck yeah, heck yeah. I have not laid down a uh, toxifier generator yet. Maybe we will. Let's pop one down. I'm not against trying one out right now. Uh, we are definitely going to be working on more of these. I have not summoned the Apocriton yet. Uh, I didn't want to do that because we'd, we'd need to open the door to lure that thing in. And I, we can't do that just yet. Plus, the traps aren't finished. So we're just kind of biding our time until we can summon the next mech. Uh, it's no big deal, though. There's no rush on that. I think that uh, for, the, for the time being, it looks like our extra colony might still be a viable option for dropping stuff off here. I really want to get these Ancient Dangers too cracked open. Um, I think we have one on our map. Where was it? Yeah, it's down here. So we do have one we could open up here. There are some easy ways to get into these things without necessarily risking too much, especially at our level of tech now that we've got all these mechs and stuff. So maybe we should do that. Uh, once these dogs clear out of here, I'm going to make that a priority. We're going to start cracking open some ancient dangers for sure. Uh, who knows? We could get anything from Persona Swords to new colonists out of those, too. So it's pretty great. Pretty great. Not to mention, we're pretty much going to get good resources out of it no matter what. Well, we have finished off the last of those uh, golden retrievers or Labradors, whatever they were. And we've got ourselves some uh, new armor here, an Archite capsule, which we're not going to be able to use right away, and some Plasteel. Actually, I think we could use this. We did get the tech for it, but... Uh, yeah, we're not doing the gene stuff just yet. So let's make sure this gets all brought in real quick. I definitely want to bring that in. And uh-oh, what's happening? Oh, game just slowed down there for a second. Uh, we should be good. I wish they would stop dropping it outside. Sometimes they drop it right here. Sometimes the pods get dropped out here. It's annoying. But uh, the labs are all gone, so we don't have to worry about that anymore, at least for now. Who knows what the next threat is going to be with this crazy Randy guy around. <laughs> anyway, I've got uh, one... Paramedic. I've got the, uh, what is it called? Yeah, the Paramedic Mech Gestating. I've got a Legionary and a Tesseron Gestating. So we are definitely working on beefing up that army, not to mention, you know, just some of the utility mechs. Uh, in addition to that, I did gestate another lifter, so I've got a few more of those. But uh, he, J Larson's still got a decent amount of bandwidth. I think we're going to go ahead and finish off like uh, the little bit of space I've got left here. Let's put that there. I'm going to move this. Move that right there. It's probably good enough. Yeah, so we're going to end up filling up this. And yeah, like I said, I think I've got my uh, guys still kind of exploring for more minerals and stuff. But uh, we'll, I'll probably dig a few of these out eventually. And we'll fill those up with uh, nothing but band nodes. Oh, boy, guys. We're going to have a lot of stuff, to, a lot of space devoted to band nodes. That's for sure. Anyway, guys, we have run out of time for today's episode. But thank you so much for joining me today. Hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Check out the description for Twitter and Discord links. And I will see you guys on the next episode.